Welcome back. Looking around your house, you see toys, books, clothes, stuff. You know, we can reach a point where we're kind of suffocating in all of these things that lead to clutter and frustration. And we know how that all goes too well, right, Todd? A little bit. I know I want to do something about it. And after talking to Ali Casaza, author of The Clutter Like a Mother, Guilt-Free, No-Stress Way to Transform Your Home, I know where I can now find some help. Clutter. Clutter, we all have it, whether it's just sitting around our house or on our social calendar. And one mom decided to do something about it in the middle of the night. Let's just put it that way. I'm so glad to be talking with Ali Casaza. As I said, she is an author that's going to pass along some awesome tips. And we're going to learn a little bit more about her story. Thanks so much for joining me. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so your decluttering actually made national headlines. Why is that? It did. That was about gosh, five or six years ago. I think, I think it's because people need this. It, I wasn't the only one that was feeling so done that I would just go to the other side of the extreme and get rid of everything that we didn't really need. I think it re it resonated. So when you say middle of the night, what did, what did this entail? Exactly. What did you do? So it was, I had just reached my breaking point. I was really, if I'm honest, I was really, really struggling as a mom. I was struggling with depression. I was just overwhelmed and I was tired of the house being the main thing I did all day. I wanted to be with my kids and, right. and start a business and do all the things I'm doing now. Um, and so I got the kids in bed and just grabbed some trash bags and decided that if we didn't absolutely love it, need it, use it all the time, if it wasn't really worthy of taking up my time away from my kids, then it went and a lot of stuff went. <laughs> and when you say kids, you had three very little kids. Really little. I had just had my third baby. So I, at that time I had three under three. Wow. What did that feel like to go through that process? It felt liberating. Um, it felt a little scary. I, I worried that I would, you know, we were really, we were broke at the time. Like we were barely making it. And so I worried that I'd get rid of things that we ended up needing, but I just figured, what do I really have to lose here? Because I've lost all my time. I'm losing all my energy. I'm losing these days with my kids. I'm losing precious everything. Mm -hmm. um, and so I felt like I was resourceful enough to figure out how to get something back if I needed to, but I wasn't resourceful enough to invent more time. You know what I mean? Like I needed, I needed to do something. I was, I was really done. And so now you've actually taken your story and actually put it between uh, a couple of different chapters and awesome books. So go ahead and tell me about your book and what people are going to find in it. Yes. My book is called Declutter Like a Mother, and it is based actually on an annual challenge that I've been running for about five years. Um, we get in between like 40 and 80,000 women every year in the challenge. So it was time for a book. Um, and it's, I mean, it's really going to move you. It's going to make you understand yourself. It's going to make you understand your stress levels. And mm -hmm. then it's going to tell you exactly what to do about it in a way that doesn't feel limiting and like joy sucking, getting rid of everything you have. It's, you know, it's, that's not the vibe. It's very, Free. Mm -hmm. And we all agree that the hot mess mom is kind of a thing. I mean, we all have said that I feel I'm a mom. I only have, I want to say I only have one child, but I have a very full calendar. So it feels like I have yeah. many. I can't imagine having one more. So where does the hot mess mom come into all of this? Yeah, I, I started seeing this in my work with women as I built my company. Um, this identity crisis of moms, just identifying with being a disaster and almost wearing it like a badge of honor. Like the busier you are, the more chaotic they are, you are, the less time you have for yourself. It's like, yeah, I'm like, but I'm like a good mom. And why not both? Why are we subscribing to this idea that this is motherhood? And if that is motherhood, then why is anyone even voluntarily like signing up for it? Because it sounds awful when you look at it through hot mess mom culture's eyes. Mm -hmm. And so I really just wanted to start a allowing women to set themselves free from that and unsubscribe from that idea and resubscribe to something that's going to really set them free and allow them to be women, not just yeah. moms. I had my four kids in five years. I know something about chaos. I understand mom culture. I understand being a woman, obviously, and I understand how hard it is. It is extremely demanding, of course, um, but we are in ownership of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. And that is a huge part of my message for moms that they understand that and take that and not play the victim quite as much. You have a book that actually allows parents with kids of any age to follow this decluttering. 
Yeah, absolutely. There's a whole chapter in Declutter Like a Mother on, it's the longest chapter actually, on kids, doing this with your kids, explaining this to them, raising them in this, making it a part of your family culture rather than almost like a punishment. And like, now we have to do this. You have too much stuff. It, it shouldn't feel like that. It should be very easy. It should really flow. And I coach women in how to do that. All right. And it's about being intentional with each room you go into, right? Can you explain that? Yeah, I call it setting the intent. It's the first step in any space. Um, and you just really walk into the room and ask, what do I need this room to do for me? Your house is supposed to work for you, not the other way around. And almost all the time, it is the other way around, right? Is there a room in the house that maybe you should start with? Yeah, I always say to start in the bathroom. It can be your bathroom. It can be a guest bathroom, whatever you want. But the bathroom is a great place to start because it's typically not a place where there's sentimental items or like really hard to decide on items. It's like, you know, old makeup, gross stuff. It's old hair tools that are broken that you kind of felt bad throwing out. Um, it's an easy yes, no area. And that can kind of build up some momentum and help you keep going. All sure. right. So I need to get my hands on your book or follow you. How can I do all of the above? Yeah, the book is available everywhere books are sold. It's on Amazon, Target.com, wherever you want to go. Um, and also just AliCasaza.com is a great place to kind of choose your own adventure and how I can support you. I'm on Instagram. Pick where you want to go. Perfect. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to be following. You're going to get one new follower right away when this interview is all done. Thank you so much Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Can I relate uh, to her? I'm going to have to buy more garbage bags. <laughs> All right. Learn more about Allie and her book, Declutter Like a Mother, on our website, AllieCasaza.com. We'll be right back.